Yeah, it's amazing that you, um, uh, I guess in hindsight, you look back at your career and you think, wow, you know, where did that 20 years go? Um, I don't know, I guess you, you certainly know a lot more about how to prepare for things, uh, how to uh, read the signs. Um, some days you wake up and you think, well, today's the day where I know I need to back off, whereas I guess when you're 20, every day is a day where you just crack on and you, you go as hard as you possibly can at the wall. Um, so for me, I think it's been a really interesting preparation and balance towards the, the, the Brisbane thing. Um, you know, I guess life also diversifies. You know, when you're 20, you don't have the responsibilities of marriage, family, and fatherhood. Um, you know, you take a lot more on board. So you know, for me, I think it's a, a much richer and more challenging position for you um, than when you're earlier in your career. Is this just yeah, I think everything's got a risk associated to it, but I guess if I didn't make a decision, or I made all my decisions based on risk, then I would have made one decision. So, you know, for me, I'm really confident in the fact that I'm going to contribute, not just on the paddock, but also away from the paddock as well, and, and really uh, give it everything that I've you know, got it at 40. You know, it's, I guess I stand here as a 40-year-old man, having loved a great career, having loved playing for this country and state. I'm fit and strong still. This is a really good mental challenge for me, as much as anything. Um, and I just say, bring it. I've just come, from, just come from Pilates. So I've got to say, it's a. Um, as Sarah would acknowledge, my Pilates instructor, um, it's a pretty challenging thing. Um, I'm lifting some big old weights there, um, little pink chaps, about 0.5 of a kilo. I'm trying to stabilise what is the catch word of the day, and that's the core. Um, I'm probably yet to find out what that is at the moment, but. Um, I'm working at it. Uh, yeah, look, I've, I guess for me it's um, it's really all about, and it has been, I've got to say, right through my career, it's all about just being well. I've undergone things, movement conditioning and Pilates and, and then the actual skills themselves, you know, throwing and hitting, um, and filled that into my day. And, and it, you know, it's remarkable how much better you actually feel. I, I suppose for an athlete we are very physical beings, so to actually spend part of our day doing exactly that gives you great clarity gives you you know just gives you insights into what your day at hand is um, and I've really enjoyed it you really have to be a, a, an ambassador for cricket and I think the future of our game is is really at a fulcrum in a lot of ways um, you know we really love our test cricket we understand that we you know we're reasonably happy with one day as they're, they're, they're in the landscape um, but I think for me it's all about what legacy I can pass on, and when I look back at it now, um, even to my six-year-old son Joshua, who's you know, just starting to pick up the cricket bat and, and has started his indie cricket for the first time, what is really his game? What, what's he going to be playing, you know, 20 years from now when he's, uh, or his generation 20 years from now? Um, and I think that 2020 is going to be a big part of that landscape. Maybe it's not even 2020. Maybe it's even a shorter version of the game still. You know, I've done that, I guess, away from Australia now for three years in the IPL competition. Um, I loved it. Uh, we had great success. I felt like I contributed greatly to that culture. Um, but in the back of my mind, I was always thinking, gee, wouldn't it be great to have a competition, a franchise competition, competition in Australia and, and really contribute to that? So you know, this is what it's all about for me.